Joe Maffey. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to Combat Nation. You know, today we're going to talk about an interesting subject. It's called meditation. Okay, meditation's been used for thousands of years, dating 300 years before Christ. Right? And it's been used a lot these days by modern day gurus for self-help and whatnot. Alright, so let's just talk about what meditation really is a little bit. Meditation is a way to keep yourself balanced in life. Okay? Basic way to keep yourself calm, keep your mind calm, keep your emotions calm. And a lot of people use different forms of it these days. It's not just the old sitting under a waterfall in the lotus position like this. Um, this all sorts of forms of meditation that can be used daily. Um, walking is a form of meditation, cooking, um, uh, yoga, you know, listening to music, going fishing. Anytime you're in a relaxed state and you have some sort of tranquility or peace in your world, that's some form of meditation. Okay? Um, what we're going to talk about today is more of the traditional forms of meditation. Started many, many years ago, as I said, uh, more of a Buddhist thing, and then the Taoists have used it, and uh, so on. So, what we're going to talk about today is, you know, the importance of meditation, how it can be used from a beginner to an advanced, and uh, just why it's so important. Okay, let's talk about meditation, and when's the best time to do it, all right? If you're that kind of person that is all wound up all the time and full of anxiety and you just can't sit still and you've tried meditation before and it failed and you said to yourself, you know what, I just can't do this. I just can't get myself calm enough to relax to do it. Your body has to be ready to accept meditation. Okay? You can't just come home from work all pissed off, all wound up or just got two dropping the kids off and you're all stressed out and decide you're going to do meditation or kick yourself into a meditative state, it's not going to happen. Okay? It's just not. Especially if you're a beginner. Once you get more advanced and you can just instantly get control of your inner self, yeah, you can do it. But when you're first trying to get started, it's not going to happen. So this is for the person that is, uh, you know, kind of wound up all the time and can just never get himself calm. The time for you to do meditation is the time when you get home from work, you need to go out and do some physical exercise. Something that makes you sweat. Something that pushes you to the limit that when you're done, you're just, oh, I don't want to move. Okay? If you're a martial artist and you want to get into some internal arts, go do jujitsu for an hour. Go do some boxing. Um, go do some, uh, you know, MMA and get that really hard workout. And when you're lying on the mat and you don't want to move, that's the time to do meditation. Okay? If you're that kind of person who doesn't do martial arts, go out and jump, go give yourself a really good hard walk. Or go for a run. Or go play tennis. Or get on the exercise bike. Or just get in your backyard and do a couple of hundred jumping jacks. When your body is exhausted from physical working out, that's the time for you to do meditation. You, as a beginner, can learn how to meditate very easily just by letting the circulation of your blood start to move. And when you do that, your energy will follow it. Okay? So how we're going to do that is a very easy, easy, still meditation. And I'm going to have you just have your arms shoulder length apart. I'm going to have your legs about shoulder length width, and I want to bend your knees. I want to stick your butt forward and hunch your shoulders. So it looks like this. But I want you to keep your head somewhat up. So it's sort of resting comfortably on your shoulders. Like this. Now what I want you to do is I want you to raise your heels off the ground about a quarter of an inch. Like this. So you notice I'm not lifting up. I'm just you know, off the ground, the putting all the pressure on my toes. What that's going to do is it's going to make the circulation of my blood go from the back of my heels, up the back of my legs, over my head and my shoulders, 
and then the circulation is going to go okay, down. Okay, now that we have that basic position where our heels are raised, and we're just sort of staying in one spot, I want to talk about how to breathe. Okay, remember I said earlier that your mind directs your energy, or the yi directs the chi? I want to be able to use my imagination and to visualize that circle of energy flowing through my body. As my mind visualizes it, the energy will flow that way. So to start with, what I want you to do is slightly keep your teeth closed together, and I want your tongue to be at the roof of your mouth, right behind your teeth. So you relax like this. Okay, I want you to focus on your navel, three inches below it and three inches in. They call that your center. Okay, so everything is going to be coming from that lower extremity. Okay, that's where the life form is, down here. So we're going to imagine that when we breathe in, we're going to breathe in through our belly. We don't want to go like this, nothing in our chest. We don't want that up tightness. We're trying to get away from that. We don't want to hold that. We want to put it low and center into the ground. So we're going to breathe in and out through our belly. As I inhale, my stomach expands. As I exhale, my stomach relaxes. So inhale. Now we want to envision a circle. So as I inhale, we want to imagine that our breath starts right here. And as I inhale, it goes down around the bottom of my feet, comes over my head, and then once it reaches between my eyes, I exhale. Because your game's right there, you can start using your breathing. If you're a runner, you can fall into your running pattern, your, your breathing pattern. Start getting more into a meditative state. If you're that wound up and you're getting ready to yell at your kids or your kids are just pushing you to the brink, take a couple of seconds. Because once your body recognizes and your brain starts understanding the, the, the state that you can get into, you can immediately just get into that. If you're a fighter getting ready for a big fight, and you're all wound up, and you feel your energy getting too high, you can just chill right out. Okay guys, I just gave you a little introduction to meditation, and a lot of different ways that the modern individual can use some ancient I know methods. a guy who used to build model airplanes. Very tedious work. He used to get all wound up because he couldn't get the pieces right. He came, we did the meditation, started adding in his breathing to his model airplane and uh, when he was building them, calmed them right out, had a better result. So really we're just looking to achieve results and that result is some kind of peace in your life, some kind of balance in your life and you can make wise decisions at stressful points in the world. I'm Joe Matthews, the CombatNation.com. You have a great day and we'll catch you later.